so much for joining me today. I was actually supposed to be doing this vlog when I landed from my flight. Way too ambitious though because after a day of flying I was out like a lot. So I'm actually home now and I'm super excited to talk about what I'm going to be talking about today. It's something I'm super passionate about. I'm super passionate about self-help, self-development, being a better person and that's why today I'm talking about my life coach, my experiences. I get so many questions as to like why I got a life coach, if it actually works, would I recommend it, um, all these things. So I'm going to be pretty much giving you all the answers today. I hope it's it's helpful and yeah let's do it okay so why did I get a life coach if I was to put it in like the shortest paragraph possible it is to be a better person to be a better girlfriend to be a better daughter to be a better sister be a better auntie be a better friend just to be better in general and I actually found out about life coaching only just a couple years ago when I moved to Melbourne I went through a really hard time and I was really just trying to learn how to like get through it or yeah to get through it and I stumbled upon Brooke Steer. she was a weight loss coach she's actually an American I mean she has the life coach school I binge listened to all of her podcasts and I was just like oh my gosh I totally want to do this it was only until late last year I stumbled upon the Queen of Confidence which is my life coach and she's a confidence coach and I just like everything that she talked about I just really resonated with she was in Melbourne there was like in-person um, coaching they were in person <laughs> Fuck. there was in person like days that you could go to other women you can meet and things like that so I was like fuck I gotta do it I gotta jump on it this is a sign and just did it just did the damn thing there were so many reasons why I wanted to do it so just to name a few confidence she's a confidence coach that really stood out to me because it was something that I lacked and like body image, being confident in myself as a person, being confident in my business, you know, getting help with my business, help with my relationships. Um, I wanted to work on my patience. I wanted to work on my communication skills, money beliefs, childhood trauma, just like a whole bunch of things. Like there was just so many things and I just wanted to be a better person and just to be more like woke, like know myself deeper and connect with my myself deeper. Does it work? Would you recommend it? Like it only works if you work. There's a quote that says you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink and that's the same here like Erica my coach she could give me all the information all the tools all the know-how you can learn so much but if you don't sit down and implement it and take action then it's not going to work it's not going to work if you don't do the work and I learned that was like such an awakening for me like when I started because um, I got like on the online platform and I was like okay cool start going through stuff I listened to like all the podcasts and all of all of that and I was like okay like now what and then it's like I think I went to like the first um, immersion day the first event we had and it really sunk into me like oh shit like if you don't do this work then you're just gonna waste your money you're gonna waste your time and all that jazz and I was just like okay like I've got to do the work for this to work a few things that I have learned through this journey I've probably been it's been about six months and I feel like I have changed so much and obviously I have so much learning and so much growing to do but I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to do this and that you know I can afford to do this that I've met these people you know these things that are available to me like it's just freaking amazing so the first thing that I quickly realized is that your mind is a very powerful tool. So your mind, your thoughts create your feelings and your feelings become your actions. So for example, if I think, gosh, Leash, you're so fat. You're so fat, Leash. That's going to make me feel sad, unhappy, like a big blob. I want to cry and all that jazz and the action would probably be that I don't want to do anything I don't want to show up in the world I don't want to go out there I want to stay in bed I probably emotionally eat um, and watch Netflix all day like she gives us a tool to manage it and it's actually the book from Byron Katie loving what is and it's just about questioning your thoughts so there's four questions that you ask yourself when you think that thought so first I have the thought I'm so fat First question is, is it true? Second question is, can you really know that it's true? 
third question is how does it make you feel fourth question is what would you be without that thought and then there's kind of like a turnaround process where you turn it around to different thoughts and then you kind of find examples in your life where those thoughts are true and what it basically does it helps make you look at things differently and just to like stop the suffering of those thoughts so that was one thing like I was like fuck your mind is so powerful another thing that I've learned is just to stop caring about what other people think like a lot of things in life I've held back from doing or haven't done because I was worried about what other people think and I've talked about this in my other vlogs and one thing that really stood out to me that Erica said was let other people be wrong about you let others be, be wrong about you like and I'm just like damn like yeah who cares if they think this and that of you let them be wrong and I think that goes into like as well, another thing I learned is ego whether that be me being like oh my gosh I'm not good enough like I'm not good enough to be here and do this and that or if I'm like oh my gosh I'm so woke everyone else is so silly because they don't have life coaches like you know being on either side of that like I learned so much like ego to get my ego in check and sometimes I like I see my vlog sometimes and I'm like whoa that's Leisha's ego coming out you know another thing is my confidence and my body image oh, so many changes like honestly half these things I wouldn't be doing in my business um, I wouldn't be the person that I am I wouldn't be expressing myself the way that I want and that's everything that so extra stands for like all this stuff helps me implement the things that I want to be doing in life taking action uh, money beliefs childhood trauma so many things stem from your childhood um, the way you do things the way you perceive things certain things that you do in life like it all comes from your childhood and just kind of like unlearning the things that I don't want in my life and changing things you know changing to the way that I want to see things and the way that I want to do things so yeah it's just been super interesting just learning about myself deeper so many mind-blowing moments another thing that really stood out to me was like that you can't change anyone you can only change yourself and I think I went through like quite a bit of a battle like trying to change people and trying to like help people to change when they really just didn't want to change and it's like no you need to change yourself honestly there are so many things and if you are really interested in this I would recommend for you to go onto Instagram or Facebook and search the Queen of Confidence and just get all the details off there I just know that I am definitely a better person with it and it's something that I'm always going to be learning and actioning like you think you've done it so she'll give you a module you think you've done it but you only know that you've done it when that situation that trigger whatever it may be hits you right in the face and the way that you deal with it the way you react to it so it's kind of like a real life practical and you just keep doing the work you keep doing the damn work baby that's pretty much it for the vlogs thank you so much for watching as always stay grateful stay productive and deuces Kaki there.